Why did he become China's chip tycoon? There's a person behind Wasemi, a name you have to know, Yuren Rome, often called China's richest man in chips. What's his legendary story? How did he lead Wasemi to stand out in the fiercely competitive chip market and even break international monopolies? Let's delve into the world of Yuren Rome and Wasemi and uncover the story behind their success. Yuren Rome was born in 1966 into an ordinary family in Ningbo, Zhejiang province. Ningbo, a city with a rich commercial heritage, may have unknowingly planted the seeds of a business dream in him. As a child, Yuren Rong seemed like any other boy, following the standard path of education. However, his thirst for knowledge, especially in electronics, was far from ordinary. He was an exceptionally diligent student. In class, he listened intently, absorbing every bit of information. After school, while other students played, he buried himself in electronics books. This dedication propelled him forward in his studies, and he was accepted into Zhenhai High School in Ningbo. Surrounded by top students, Yuren Rong continued to excel, and in 1985, he was admitted to Tsinghua University's five-year E85 program in the Department of Radio Electronics. At Tsinghua, Yuren Rong thrived. Surrounded by the nation's best academic resources and brightest minds, he had a vast platform for learning. During his time there, he not only gained a deep understanding of radio electronics but also actively participated in various research projects and academic exchanges, broadening his horizons. His diligence and talent were recognized by both his teachers and peers. In an era when the electronics industry was just emerging, Yurin Rong had the foresight to see its enormous potential. He resolved to make his mark in this field. After graduating from Tsinghua, Yurin Rong joined the Inspur Group as an engineer. His work focused on the distribution and trading of electronic components. While this job might seem ordinary, it gave him invaluable industry experience and a network of contacts. He dealt with various components daily, gaining a deep understanding of market demands and trends. Through interactions with clients and suppliers, he also honed his business negotiation and interpersonal skills. However, Yu was not content with the status quo. He harbored an entrepreneurial dream. In 1998, after accumulating enough experience and capital, he left his stable job to found Beijing Huaqing Xingchang Trading Company, Limited, officially beginning his entrepreneurial journey, the tough road of entrepreneurship. In its early days, Beijing Huaqing Xingchang primarily distributed passive components like resistors and capacitors. Yu Rinrong knew that as a startup, it needed a competitive edge to survive. Leveraging his network from his time at Inspur, he actively sought new clients, providing them with high-quality products and services. He was strict about product quality, partnering only with reliable suppliers. On the service front, he always responded to client needs as quickly as possible, going the extra mile to meet their demands. The path to success was not smooth. Market competition was fierce, with countless similar companies engaging in brutal price wars. Huaqing Xingchang didn't have a significant price advantage, which put immense pressure on the company's growth. To cut costs, Yurin Rong had to search for more cost-effective suppliers and optimize internal management processes to improve operational efficiency. During those difficult days, he was often overwhelmed. To land a single client, he would personally visit their offices, meticulously explaining his company's products and services, sometimes waiting for hours outside their door. But he always believed that perseverance would eventually lead to a breakthrough. His hard work eventually paid off. Hua Qin Xingchang gradually established itself in the market with its solid reputation and reliable products, attracting more and more clients. By 2006, Beijing Hua Qin Xingchang had grown into Beijing's largest electronic components distribution company. Despite his success in distribution, Yu Rinrong wasn't satisfied. He knew that pure distribution had limited profit margins and was vulnerable to market fluctuations. To achieve greater growth, the company needed to transform. After careful consideration, Yu decided to venture into the semiconductor field, creating his own brand of discrete devices and integrated circuit products. This was a huge risk. The semiconductor industry has high technical barriers, requires massive R&D investment, 
and has long development cycles, with the potential for complete failure. But Yu Rong had a clear vision. He believed that the semiconductor industry was the future of technology and had immense market potential. Moreover, after years of accumulation, Huaqin Xingchang had the financial and talent resources to enter the field. Founding was Semi and the Chip Journey. In 2007, Yu Rinrong founded Will Semi in Shanghai. In its early days, Will Semi focused on the R&D and design of semiconductor products like discrete devices and power management ICs, as well as the distribution of various semiconductor products. Yu knew that R&D was the core competitiveness of a semiconductor company. From the start, he prioritized R&D investment, recruiting top technical talent to build his own research team. He gave his R&D staff his full trust and support, allowing them the freedom to innovate. He also actively collaborated with domestic and international research institutions and universities to continuously improve the company's technical capabilities. However, the semiconductor industry was incredibly competitive. As a new company, Wasemi was far behind international giants in both technology and brand recognition. To quickly boost the company's competitiveness, Yu Rinrong decided to adopt a dual-driven strategy of technology plus capital. He increased R&D investment to launch new, competitive products while also using mergers and acquisitions to integrate resources quickly and expand the company's product lines and R&D team. Over the next few years, Wasemi acquired several domestic chip design companies. Yu was personally involved in every acquisition, meticulously planning each one. He considered not only the target company's technical strength and market prospects but also how to effectively integrate it into Wasemi. These acquisitions rapidly expanded Wasemi's R&D team and product lines, helping it to gradually make its mark in the semiconductor market. The Gamble on Omnivision and the Chip Empire 2017 was a landmark year for both Wasemi and Urinrome. Wasemi successfully listed on the Asia market, and Yu's wealth skyrocketed. But he wasn't blinded by success, his sights were set on a bigger prize. That year, he embarked on the biggest business gamble of his life, the acquisition of Beijing Omnivision, a company with assets several times larger than Wasemi's and a top three player in the global image sensor market. Beijing Omnivision had advanced technology and a wide market share in image sensors, with products used in mobile phones, cars, and security systems. A successful acquisition would instantly make Wasemi a major player in the global image sensor field. But this was no easy task. Omnivision was a massive company, and the acquisition faced resistance from competitors. Faced with immense difficulties, Urinrong never gave up. In a critical moment, his network proved essential. The Tsinghua-educated team leading Omnivision chose to partner with their fellow alumnus, Urinrong who was soon appointed CEO of Omnivision, giving him a decisive advantage. Then, in 2019, Wasemi overcame another hurdle, the U.S. Committee on Foreign Investment, CFIUS, and successfully completed the acquisition of Beijing Omnivision, officially entering the CMOS image sensor industry. This multi-billion dollar gamble paid off handsomely. With the rapid development of China's smartphones and new energy vehicles, Wasemi, a world-class supplier of image sensor chips, became a favorite among investors. Its market value has consistently stayed above 100 billion yuan, and Yu Rinrong's personal fortune reached billions of dollars. The acquisition was also hugely significant for China's semiconductor industry. By effectively integrating Omnivision CMOS technology with its own design capabilities, a Chinese company had for the first time established a complete product and R&D system in high-end sensor fields like smartphones and medical imaging. Backed by the momentum of China's new energy vehicle industry, Wasemi's global market share for automotive CIS has grown at a high rate year after year, directly challenging international giants like on Semiconductor and Sony. Relentless innovation to build technical barriers. After the successful acquisition of Beijing Omnivision, Wasemi didn't slow down. Yu Rinrong knew that in the semiconductor industry, technology evolves incredibly fast, and without continuous innovation, a company can quickly become obsolete. He kept R&D at the core of the company's development, continuously increasing investment. 
was Semide built an R&D team of over 2,000 people from all over the world, bringing with them rich industry experience and expertise. Under Urenrung's leadership, they are dedicated to the R&D of various products, including image sensors, power management chips, signal interfaces, and TDDI, touch and display driver integration, chips. Was Semide prioritizes communication and collaboration with clients, seeking to understand their needs and constantly adjusting its R&D direction based on market demand. For example, as smartphone camera quality became more important, Wasemi increased its investment in high-pixel image sensors, launching a series of products with high pixel count, low power consumption, and high image quality to meet market needs. Wasemi also actively engaged in international cooperation, establishing strategic partnerships with many well-known global companies. Through these collaborations, Wasemi not only learns from advanced international technology and management experience, but also promotes its products to a broader global market. Today, Wasemi holds over 4,800 global patents, has established R&D centers and sales networks in multiple countries and regions, and its products are widely used in consumer electronics, automotive electronics, and industrial applications, making it a major force in the global semiconductor field. Urinrom, the chip mogul, who rose from a small town in Ningbo, used his wisdom and courage to write a legendary business story. From an ordinary engineer he became China's richest man in chips, step by step, leading Wu Semi to secure an important place in the global chip market. His journey is a microcosm of the rise of China's semiconductor industry showing us the grit and ambition of Chinese enterprises in the face of international competition.